Hey, and welcome back. So I want to talk about what is high vibe living. That is the brand of my company. And I wanted to talk a little bit about why I chose that name and more importantly, what it really means. And to me, high vibe living is a mindset and it's a way of life. I'm sure you've heard kind of the buzzwords lately, like high vibes, like sending high vibes. So let me break down what exactly are high vibes. They are vibrations. A vibe is just a short term for vibration, which is emotion. It's a vibration in our body that is an emotion and that what we feel. And every single feeling that we have has a certain different vibration. So for example, um, fear is a very low vibration and love is a higher. But let me give you a visual to really explain this to you. So going back to law of attraction, they talk about how there's different vibrations. And in order to manifest or bring something into your life, you have to be at the same vibration to bring it in. So on the level, there is an emotional scale of different emotions. So up here at the top, there's joy, empowerment, love. And at the bottom, it's fear and grief and depression and powerlessness. And each one of these has a certain vibration. And this is actually in the order that the vibrations are. So up here, passion, enthusiasm, optimism are up at the top. Boredom and pessimism is kind of in the middle. And then you get towards the emotions of like hate and um, unworthiness at the bottom. So this is the um, emotional scale that I'm referring to when I'm talking about emotions. And so what high vibe living is when I say a mindset, it's your ability to have self mastery over your thoughts and your feelings. So as you know, here in the model, I'm going to bring this out again for you, that every, anytime we think something, a thought creates a feeling and that feeling creates an action, which creates a result. So all of your results in your life really lead back to your thinking and your feeling. So when you're in self, when you have the self mastery to really understand how your thoughts create your feelings, and then when you're in a state of a feeling that you don't want to be in, and you're able to be like, okay, I don't want to feel, let's say you're feeling bored or restless and you really want to eat. And you're like, okay, I know that I'm feeling bored and restless and I want to rise, raise my vibration to, let's say, either contentment or even joy. You have to ask yourself, what do I need to think? What are the thoughts that I need to think in order to feel that? And when you're able to, in, in an instant, have that self-awareness of where you are on the scale and then choose a thought to bring you higher up on the scale to create the results you want, that is self-mastery and that is what I'm teaching and that is what I want for people, this high vibe living, it's intentional life. It's getting in alignment with what we want by understanding how our thoughts and most importantly, how our feelings work. Now, I work with emotional eaters. A lot of the people that I work with don't really understand their emotions because they've been eating over it for so many years. So one of the very first things I do when working with clients is I get them in tune with their emotions, how to feel. I have them describe it in their body. Where does that vibration feel like? What does the feeling of happiness feel like? What does contentment feel like? And being able to describe it. So when you are able to understand where you are in the emotional scales and then you have the tools to think something differently, to feel something different and you raise your vibration, that is when you can be empowered in every moment and know that you're able to make a change. And it's really just about getting very intentional and being able to identify where you're at and that willingness to move up the scale. So I hope that helps. I really love talking about the law of attraction and how, you know, we, it's just a law. It's, it's kind of like gravity. You know, it just happens. It's not something that I can explain. Law of attraction is a thing. And when you're able to understand how, and it really is our emotions that drive everything. So when you're able to get control and not be afraid of your emotions, that's when the power comes in.